If you are looking for instant vocal effect inspiration, then you are not going to want to click off this video. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mythical. I have three super easy vocal effect tricks that will instantly give your vocals life, make them sound more inspired, and fill in gaps by adding subtle throws, glitches, and even a vocoder effect. But if this is your first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to stay up to date on more Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks. And also support me on Patreon if you haven't. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so the first vocal effect that we're going to make today are some vocal glitches. And they're very easy to make. All you have to do is chop up parts of the vocal track and arrange them into an effect that sounds like they're glitching. So let's take a quick listen to the track in front of me. Uh, I wrote this right before recording today and that way we'll get some context as to what we're working with. Okay, let's go. I can't help but live in the moment Eyes lock when you talk it's slow motion Cool. So yeah, there's a lot of area and space in between the vocals where we can add this effect. So let's take a quick listen again and see where exactly we want to place the glitch. I can't help but live in the I'm hearing I can't help but. So let's try cutting this first part. Right here. So I'm going to use my marquee tool. And I'm going to drag like this, holding down option and click. I'm actually going to duplicate the track so that way I can drag down the chopped part here. Hold down option and drag and let's zoom in a little bit in between the space between the words here and I'm just gonna copy and paste by holding down option and dragging I can't help but Okay, so now I think we'll do the second phrase. Eyes lock when you talk. Let's do that. Holding down the marquee tool, command, drag, and we'll option, drag down to the new track, and do the same process as we did before. Okay, let's listen to that. Eyes lock when you talk, it's slow motion. Sweet. Okay, very, very easy. So all you have to do is find particular spaces in your vocal arrangement where you think that these glitch effects might sound good and duplicate the track or add a new audio track and use your marquee tool to accurately pick where you want to splice the audio and then hold down your option key, drag down to the new track and then just start arranging from there. Okay, so just like that vocal glitch effect that we made, this next process is almost identical, but we're going to add a step and make an EQ that emulates a telephone. And the effect is basically like a vocal delay with a telephone EQ effect. So let's take a listen to the track again and find where we want to add this particular effect. I'm going to mute the vocal glitches. I can't help but live in the moment. So I'm hearing moment. So what I'm going to do is duplicate my track once again. I'm going to shut off all of my buses. 
let's zoom in to find the transient where he starts saying moment. And I'm just going to use my marquee tool just like last time and drag that down. Now what we're going to do is drag it over and find an area where it sounds good as a delay. Yeah, just like that. Very, very cool. It might take some playing around to get the right timing. I just happened to find the right time immediately. So let's take a listen to that again. I can't help but live in the moment, moment. Okay. Cool, so now that we found our timing, I'm going to add a linear phase EQ on that vocal delay. So let's just actually label the track, so vocal delay. Okay, so let's go to our linear phase EQ and what I'm gonna do is increase the high pass filter to like 500 hertz and the low pass to, let's do 3000. Make the roll off maybe a little smoother. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll bring that down in volume. I can't help but live in the moment. Solo that out. Moment. I'm actually going to. Moment. There we go. Okay. I can't help but live in the moment. Excellent. Cool. Now let's go to the next phrase. Eyes lock when you talk, it's slow motion. Okay, so I th think I'm hearing motion. I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to marquee tool it right when he says motion. Eyes lock when you talk, it's slow motion. Eyes lock when you talk, it's slow motion. Yeah, that'll work. That actually sounds pretty cool. Okay. Now let's talk about Logic Pro's built-in vocoder, the Evoc 20 Polysynth. And by no stretch of the imagination is this an industry standard vocoder. There's plenty of third-party plugins that outperform this particular plugin, but I still think with the right processing, you can get a really darn good sound right out of the Polysynth. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what we'll end up doing is I'll mute this vocoder track. This is something that I already arranged for demonstration. I'm going to show you how to set it up from scratch and it's just a few steps. So we'll go to software instrument, make a brand new track and under instrument find our Evoc 20 Polysynth. And what this is going to do is sidechain itself to a particular audio track that we designate in this case the vocals so the first thing I would do is just side chain it to your particular vocal track now under this drop down menu synthesizer you have a number of different pads that you can choose I like the emotion pad so we'll pick that one you'll see the signal option here so we have to remember to always keep it on vocoder if we're going to be using this polysynth as a vocoder and that's going to make it sidechain appropriately. So on my MIDI keyboard, I'm going to play this track and you're going to hear the effect. Okay, here we go. I can't help but live in the moment. Eyes lock when you talk, it's slow motion. Okay, did you hear that? So I'm going to solo out the vocoder track and all we're going to be hearing is the side chain effect from it. So I'm going to play it and hear what it sounds like under the hood.
Right, so I was just cycling between a G minor and C minor triad. So what we'll do now is take this MIDI track that I've written and drag it up to this new vocoder track. And let's play everything in context, okay? So the glitch and the vocal delay throw all in context here. Okay, let's play it. I can't help but live in the moment. Eyes lock when you talk, it's slow motion. Awesome. Yep, it really brings life to an otherwise good vocal track, but it just gives it a little bit of extra flavor and just character and personality, I think. So I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a comment. I will definitely respond to you. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you didn't, hit the dislike button. Otherwise, I will see you next time.